What do you mean, no sign of her? Here's a sign for you. You're fired. Is that your PI? Yeah, one of 50. And not one of them has a lead on Jessica. They will find her, okay? But I'm with Danny. Oh, she, um, she's registered at Landview High School. She starts classes tomorrow. So she wanted to go. Oh, she couldn't wait. So she's gonna be okay then. Yeah. She's she's in good hands with her big sister. So what are you gonna wear for your first day at Landview High? Any of these. I'm just glad I don't wear a uniform anymore. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> hey guys, good shopping? Yeah, it was great. What are you looking for? Uh the remote. I want to see what's going on with John's arraignment. Oh, you haven't heard anything? No, my mom hasn't called me yet. She's afraid that that scum law is gonna hold things up. I asked you a question. What's going on here? You're pretty sure of yourself. When John's not here to use as a human shield? I'm not discussing McBain and his trigger-happy fugitive buddy with you. Well, if he's on the run, aren't you afraid he's gonna finish off the job? Dr. Saybrook, why are you still here? Why are you in the ambulance taking care of your boyfriend? Surprise! What the hell is she doing here? I told you not to get her involved. And you try and stop her. Yeah, do you really think that I would listen? Besides, it went like clockwork, you're out. Yeah, well, pull over, we're letting you out. John, we don't have time. We need all the help we can get to find Jessica. Slaver, just a fool of Rex. Oh, wait, I thought you said that was, this was safe. Maybe it is, Stacy. I don't know. I don't know, okay? What I do know is that it's not right, and I'm not gonna do this to my child. We have a deal, Skye. You help us get this baby out of Stacy now, Rex doesn't find out it's yours, and Gigi will never find out you slept with Stacy. Everybody wins! Yeah, you know what? That's, that's not important to me anymore. Mosca, wake up! you have to get back to Stacy? We think it's gonna be a while. Do we? Look, I saw how upset you were before when I came in here with Stacy, and I wanna make things right for you. For us. I think it's a little late to make things right between us. Things started going south as soon as Stacy hit town. Now she's having your baby. It must have been kind of awful running into her here today. I've had the last nine months to get used to the idea, right? Not like I didn't know this day would come. I don't think any of us were exactly ready for it. But now that it's here, all this pain that I thought I had set aside, it all came rushing back to me. I don't care what's important to you. This baby's important to me and I need to have it now. 
So give me that shot. Now. Do it, Sky. Before Rex gets back. Come on! Rex is one closed door away from finding out this baby isn't his. Yeah, what if something goes wrong? We're in a hospital. Just inject me and we'll get my doctor. Doctors don't fix everything. Yeah, well, they charge like they can. Look, if something happens to this kid because we did this, because I did this, mm -hmm. how am I supposed to live with myself knowing that I hurt my own child? So what? You're just deciding this now? When Rex already thinks Stacy's in labor and we have no time to make another plan. Together, you and I will lead a life most blessed. Messenger. I'm with my daughter. I'm sorry, sir, but I just received word that Stacy Marasco is in labor. Your grandchild's about to be born. Bring the vessel carrying my grandchild back to me. We have everything we need to ensure a safe delivery. By the time the child arrives, Jessica will be ready to hold him. My daughter's arms, the first he will feel. Her heartbeat, the first he will hear. Her smile, the first he will see. And my dear darling Jessica will finally stop mourning the baby she lost. Receiving reports that former Landview Chief of Detectives John McBain, arraigned today for the alleged assault of cult leader Mitch Lawrence, was shot and wounded in what can only be described as a courtroom melee. We'll keep you updated oh, as we learn more. Oh, my God. My mom's at the courthouse. All right, I'll go, I'll go with you. No, stay here with Hope. Look, I'll call you, all right? With all the guards you had covering John, there wasn't enough room in the ambulance. Commissioner, we just got word McBain escaped. What? How the hell did that happen? Seems he had back away at the ambulance. Brody loved it. But how could he? Oh, it was a setup. That son of a bitch. Mitch killed my husband and he kidnapped Jessica. What do you expect me to do? Sit around and do nothing? Besides, when Mitch goes down, I need to be in on it. We quit driving like an old woman in Florida. Jessica try to call you again? Jessica called you? I think so, but she hung up before I could answer. Can you call her back? Restrict the number. At least she was able to make the call. Maybe it means she's okay. Bring the harlot back here safely and make sure that my son is not harmed. Go! This child is back here. Me and Jessica. Rex will decide to join his true family. I didn't just decide this now. I tried to tell myself it was okay. I even had myself pretty convinced. But now that I'm standing here with a needle in my hand... No. Can't. Then give it to me. Give me the needle. I'll do no. it. Uh, I, I, I don't know. That's such a good Nobody idea. Nobody is doing anything, okay? What do you want, Sky? Nothing. Well, you must want something, because clearly Gigi isn't enough. So what is it? Huh? Money? Drugs? You want a few free lap dances? Don't you understand this isn't about that? Then what is it about? Tell me, Gigi, the truth! It's bad enough that my sister's having her baby. But seeing you take such good care of her, getting her to the hospital, making sure she's all right, buying her lollipops, for God's sake. I'm, I'm sorry. When Shane was born, I took a taxi to the hospital. Yeah, you told me. And when I was paying the driver, counting out the last of my tip money, I just kept thinking, this is not how this is supposed to be. Gigi. But that wasn't the worst thing about it. The worst thing was walking into the hospital all alone. I was in labor for... 12 hours, Rex, and I spent every agonizing minute wishing to God I knew where you were. So you could kill me? No, so I could call you and ask you to come and be with me. 